brought to you to convey some deep thoughts. Lack of comprehension, low level in linguistics is a result of demise. What's up to all my good folks? All right. So the more and more I grow as a person, as a human, as a male that understands the way I understand and what I now understand versus what I didn't understand when I was younger, every single thing is tied into language. Everything. And the deeper I think about it, the more I understand that slavery was the least of our problems. The real trap is not slavery, nor is it the chains, nor is it the whips, none of that. It is the fact that we no longer know how to use our native tongue. We no longer know how to think outside of the 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 the, the linguistical syntax trap that was designed for our brains. That we can't we can't even learn outside of the alphabet, which was also a trap given to us. And not only do we not learn outside of the linguistical trap we are also taught to not even learn the highest level of the linguistical trap so that we could even understand how to break the trap so inside of us only speaking a language that is not ours we are also trained to think it is dumb to be a high level speaker So it's almost to the point to where there's two traps in one. Like a trap inside of a trap. And inside of this, let's say, urban community thinking, where it is a taboo to use big words or even be smart at a high level. You're a geek or you're a nerd or you're a loser or you're a weirdo or you're a scientist-ass nigga. Inside of this, the the lower poverty areas where linguistics is at an all-time low, learning is at an all-time low. When you truly don't know absolutely nothing, you are subjected to follow suit of whatever, whatever, let's say the media or whatever is deemed cool, the all urban communities are are literally controlled with the snap of a finger by what pops on TV. All. Every single urban community is literally controlled by what pops on TV. As a person that grew up in an in, in a urban community, I have literally watched my neighborhood go with every single trend that was pumped to them. Cash money came out. Everybody was wearing big t-shirts and and Reeboks and Jabot jeans. Skinny jeans shit came out. Now everybody wearing Future and all them niggas. Now everybody wearing skinny jeans with colorful jeans and double cups and grills. Whatever they pump. Whatever they pump. The urban community will follow suit. And it's all because we lack the linguistical understanding of what's happening. No, oh, you're right, you're right, Yali. It, it, it is to the point to where, let's just put it like this. Our brains are technically an empty computer with no operating system. Right, because they deleted our operating system by breeding us and killing the adults and raising the children. 
so that they can reprogram our operating system from the whole grand way we think to what we like to what we taste to everything our whole operating system is reprogrammed and inside of that reprogramming of our operating system or installment new installment of a whole operating system people in lower poverty communities via especially the black community everything is wrong everything is upside down like you said showing too much love is dick eating uh actually just being happy like you can't be too happy like if you walk outside and be like i'm happy somebody be like man fuck you happy for weirdo fuck is this nigga all happy for nigga just wake up happy like that's weird So in that aspect, we just have to understand exactly what's happening. Nobody is at fault. None of these people is at fault. And I know us as people, sometimes we could point, we, we tend to point the finger, but we tend, we don't tend to like say like where the problem root from. So like, yeah, a lot of people in the hoods, in the hoods around the world, they're completely lost. Some people are lost to no return. Some people are killers. Some people are drug dealers. Some whatever, at whatever your position is in the hood, and that's what you is. It is what it is. But a lot of people don't even have a choice at all. Free will is is not true. When you grow up in like lower lower poverty, like free will is far from true. far from true it is far from true and i say that because i grew up in a neighborhood and just where i grew up at that's where you from somebody and in, in, in california people when people ask where you from for, look people ask where you from and you will say well i'm i'm not from nowhere then after you then you say nowhere you know it's the next question they gonna ask you where do you live So you from wherever you live. Ain't no getting out of it. And if you live and if a nigga really want to press and he don't want you to get away. If you say, man, I live in I live in Sherman Oaks. He going to say, yeah, where your where your people stay, where your cousins or somebody stay. A nigga will walk you all the way down to where your cousins stay. And if you got some family members that stay in the wrong hood, they press it. So sometimes free will ain't really an option. So in that aspect, you can't fault nobody, right? Like there was a point in my life where I used to look at a lot of the homies. I used to look at a lot of people, a lot of niggas. And I used to be like, yo, these niggas is lost. And then I realized they not really lost, bro. Because it ain't, to get lost is like, okay, I'm walking, but I don't know where to go. They not lost. These niggas is under a spell. And I say that. I say they under a spell based off two things. I have a lot of homies that I know that are killers. And I've seen them before they went on missions. And if you got anybody that is a killer that you've been around, when when they get ready to go on whatever mission they going on, you literally could see a demon. Like, literally. Like, they don't even look like the same person you know. I'm going to tell you, there's a process. All killers got a process. They get off whatever drink they going to get off of. They get off whatever drugs they going to get off of. And then they listen to whatever song they need to listen to to, to put the icing on the top. Every killer. So let's let's put that all into perspective. Alcohol really release spirits. This is a known fact. All right, some of these niggas be on mad psychedelic type drugs, crystal, acid, all type of shit, powder. 
Niggas be on mad shit that, that fuck with like cocaine and go straight to the brain. So you times opening up your fucking cerebral cortex to level 5,000. And then you turn on a song that literally tell you, go shoot that nigga. Go kill that nigga. Slide on the ops. Pull up with the Drake. Let a nigga have it. If a nigga runs, spray the Matic. If you high and drunk and then you listening to something like this over and 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 over again, what you think going to happen? Nigga going to turn into an actual demon. I see it for what it is. Everybody's brain in the lower class community is hijacked by a, a grand design. And that grand design is tough. Proclaim to be tough. Don't smile. Don't laugh. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing that don't make you look big and bold. And that's all based on the design that a lot of these people in urban communities don't have father figures. A lot of people in lower poverty don't have father figures. And the fact that they're not protected and, and feel like they're not protected, they join gangs. And then when they join gangs, uh, they pretty much like hyper, it's like hyper masculinity because everybody's soft. I know this. I know everybody. Everybody's soft. Nobody really out here in these streets, Dolo. Everybody's soft. Everybody everybody really soft behind closed doors. So they over-exaggerate their masculinity based on a group effort of over-exaggerated masculinity. And inside that over-exaggerated masculinity, uh, some people go as far as killing people. It is what it is. But the truth be told is it's just based on fear. But then when you when you tie fear into a, a way of living, uh, you tie it into like a trolling culture, you tie it into all the setups, like all the setups, and then you create like super, super tight, like um, what's the word for it? Super setups, super halts inside the brain. Then you times that by the music, and then, you know, the music tells you to do this. Then you times that by, like, the society setup that they've done to our, like, specifically our black women, you know, in the hoods. Like, in the hood, black women don't want no nerd nigga. No black woman in the hood want a nerd nigga. No black woman in the hood want a nerd. Not one. Top me, top me.